another Red Wing Iron Rangers for you guys and today we're gonna take a look at the 8114's black harness letter. Let's do it. Alright guys, the Red Wing Iron Rangers 8114s Black Harness Leather So today I put my camera in a different angle So I hope this is better than the previous two videos But we'll see, yeah, so these are the, uh, the black version of the uh, Iron Rangers these are probably like five and a half six years old boots as you can see I don't wear them that often compared to my other boots um, I don't know why maybe I'm I'm a brown boot guy you know so here they are still looking sharp fully broken in as you can see leather is super soft super comfortable guys even though I do have a wide uh, width feet especially on this side the right side I'm still using the same uh, places just the regular you know wax uh, laces from Red Wing and as you can see chrome uh, hardwares Speed hooks and uh, you know the holes. Just want to show you guys. Good deer welting here. A shizzle triple stitch, and then like a double layer four stitches on the cap toe and I love this this part right here guys you know, see how uh, Breadwing did this so stylish in my opinion like a trademark of the Iron Rangers this thing right here Let's see yeah this stitching right here and a cap toe yeah that's the Iron Rangers guys If I remember it correctly, when I first got this, I know that this was kind of kind of light. This part right here, and I was trying to clean them one day, you know, to make it look like that again, and I didn't able to do it. But I forgot. Uh, but and also the stitching, you know, I was trying to keep this keep this uh, clean and white because I like that black and white uh, uh, contrast I didn't able to do it probably because after cleaning it I of course you have to oil or condition them right I think it's the conditioner uh, tends to um, darken them a little bit you know, I just tried it once I thought it's it was cool to you know, bring back that that's um, aesthetic look in a way yes these are my black ones you know as you know guys uh, I have 
the uh, amber harness, the brown, ox blood, the purple, reddish, you know, color. And then this, and like I've said, I didn't really, I don't really wear this that much. Uh, but it's, I get this kind of feeling that whenever I wear them, I always kind of realize it, how cool they are, especially wearing when I wear, you know, I only, especially when wearing my, my Levi's, faded Levi's jeans. Whenever I, you know, wear them, I feel like, wait a minute, this, these are uh, as cool as my other ones, my other Iron Rangers. So yeah, I always get that, uh, that feeling, you know, like, like yeah, nice ones, you know. And as far as uh, cleaning and oiling or conditioning is concerned, I use uh, Lexol. Of, of course, first I have to, you know, uh, dust and brush them first, right? Using, using my brush. And then if they're really dirty, I just get a a damp cloth or something like that just kind of clean them a little bit and then condition them and since I don't wear this that often I only do this guys I only condition them um, about once a year yes once a year and uh, as far as I can feel the leather is still okay Maybe, maybe in a couple of months, you know, I'll do another conditioning on this just to make sure, you know, but yeah, I don't, uh, as I've said, guys, I don't overdo it. Yes, but with this one, I don't mind which conditioner I put. I even have the, the is that the Obinoff, Obinoff um, boot protector? Yeah, I used to put apply those on these ones, and they will give them like a shiny, shiny um, effect, you know, shiny protection. So, yeah, Obinoff, yeah, Obinoff LP, if I remember it correctly. Um, but lately, I've been just using the the Lexol. Maybe it's because it's easier to apply, and I don't need that much uh, protection for these bad boys okay let's uh, show this boot yep uh, nice red wing branding here this is their nitrile cork outsole And breaking in, uh, speaking about breaking in, I think uh, I didn't really have a hard time breaking these bad boys in. If I remember it correctly, it, it was not as bad as my Oxbloods or even my Iron Rangers. Um, yeah, so it was a quick, maybe a week or two daily, almost daily wearing a breaking period and when I do break them in guys I just wear them inside when I'm inside uh, our house my house so just wear them you know and feel fill the hot spots and then apply you know extra leather conditioner uh, on those hot spots so that you know it will help to soften the leather and uh, while you know flexing your your boots Yes, so these are the 8114s. Let me double check. Yeah. 8114s, yes. Um, size 9. Again, my brown ox size is 9.5. Especially on this side, 9.5 wide width. And then uh, I wear size 9 on, on Iron Ranger. So, or at least on this last, I believe it's 8 last. So, yeah, um, but it's all, 
of course it's better to um, try them in before you know making your final purchase it's better that's why I buy my shoes at Nordstrom because it's you know it's so easy to return them if I have to if I need to so one more one more closer look and these are this is one of my favorite uh, details on these shoes this back part right here aside from the cap toes of course in my opinion it would be better if this one has uh, a white stitching as well because with white uh, stitching you can always have the uh, option of you know um, um, darkening them or or coloring them if you don't want to but anyway yeah these are my slightly worn most slightly worn um red wing boots again i'm not a black boot guy that's why but as i've said whenever i wear them i always get that feeling like oh man i feel like a rock star with this All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Click like and subscribe as always. Till the next one.